Hello, everybody. So, uh, welcome back to some more Absolver. This is one of the fights that I was talking about. Um, I'm gonna commentate over it because I feel like it's commentary worthy. Uh, maybe pointing out some stuff that I did wrong, pointing out some stuff my opponent did wrong, uh, stuff like that. So, uh, starting off, it's a pretty standard fight against. Uh, I think Forsaken was the style, and then I am a halting, of course. Uh, the only thing I have to say so far is, from what I remember, uh, the the deck was pretty repetitive, um, and it was kind of easily. I was easily able to predict the next moves, especially after an earthquake. Um, that you will see, see uh, in general. After earthquakes, it was just, I think, a drunken crane and then that spinning double fist thing. Um, but still, it was a very fun fight, don't get me wrong. I really like this fight. Uh, a bit more uh, than I thought it would be uh, in terms of fun. Uh, but yeah, so here it was the drunken crane and the spinning head that I told you about. Uh, that is, after a while it gets very predictable. So, but also my fast punch and the next one is predictable for me. So, I cannot say anything about that. <laughs> I think I pulled it back here, I'm not really sure. Um, but the thing I, th I noticed with this fight is that after a lot of earthquakes were used, um, I found it kind of easier to counter attack on them. Uh, and I think after a while I use my sharp impact. Yeah, I do use my sharp impact. Here, do I? No, okay. Oh, I do, I do. Um, uh, you know. It's a bit of a cheap way, you know. I don't like using Sharp Impact, but damn, those earthquakes are like, there's a lot of earthquakes. So, I didn't want to deal with them too much. Uh, and I, I mean, that's the only power that I have to the healing. So, I'm like, I might as well use it. Um, so, yeah, still adapting here. And after this earthquake, I've realized that he's gonna do a drunken crane and then, uh, and then the spinning fist. Um, that's what I'm gonna call it now. So, oh, he doesn't do it. Spinning kick, drunken. And then the opposite. I like the dodges. I do like the dodges. But then, boom, spin hit. And then I interrupt it because it was a leg breaker. Anyway, next one. Let's see. Of course, you always need to greet your opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going back. I want to see if he opens up or if I have to open up. He opens up with, I just said, the drunken thing, and then this is spinning. <laughs> I think if you used. Uh, I saw you now in my comments, right? Uh, like just now, like two hours ago, did you comment in videos? I think if you used that combo less, you would have been way more successful against it. I don't know your combo now because it was like four or five days ago, but if you used that less, I think it would have been way more successful against me and other people in general. Because like I would get hit by the drunken crane, then go one back and you wouldn't hit me with your second attack. Not here. You're gonna see it in a bit. Uh, then this drunken, and then now you're gonna see he does that all the time. Wow, uh, that is an easy dodge. And another earthquake. Thankfully, Kahold is good against that kind of stuff. Okay, and then the spinning hit. The spinning hit is good. I really uh, think it's a 
good moving game uh, because the horizontal does a lot of damage and it's kind of hard to time sometimes I'm just trying to close the distance and I was just hitting manically damn so many earthquakes I'm just thinking to myself damn those are a lot of earthquakes all the time that I'm fighting <laughs> and I didn't know exactly um, how to react I didn't want to react to every single earthquake with um, with a sharp impact because I feel like that would be a bit too cheap but then there's the same thing junk and then again so I can retaliate easily and then I lock, I lock in a combo because hair is the opposite of what I'm kidding not because like oh that's a mistake I mean okay it's not that big of a mistake but here's a bit of lag interruption Another earthquake. And the swinging hit. Uh, now that it's on the final round, I'm like, okay, if she earthquakes again, I am gonna use sharp impact. <laughs> but I know I know that uh, frozen vodka will so uh, I'm playing it a bit safe because, yeah, that hit was gonna come and I knew it's gonna be a very open. It doesn't go link that much on that hit specifically. And then I self impacted because, you know, perfect. But even so, I think I think I had that one. Uh, so, yeah, next one. Of course, so we start with a greeting. Uh, I, I hope I do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so my tip so far as improvement from frozen vodka would be uh, maybe less earthquakes or if not less earthquakes a bit more of um, how do I say complicated deck you can do multiple attacks after the earthquake because after I think in this third fight you really started just going with the um, the joint can crane, then the spin fist, and then again, and that is it. Um, not just your stamina getting really wasted, but if I can hold a few, then I have the stamina advantage. Um, now I want to open because I have, you know, the heal. Um, of course, you know, improvement on the first, on the Forsaken is needed, but that will come in time. It's nothing too important that I can really say. Uh, like, for me, I still need a lot of improvement with Cajon. Uh, I will do at some point when I stop and I come back from a great break. Um, but I think here I started reading the deck a bit more. If I go a bit back, you have a lot of short moves except of the dark drunken crane every other move is kind of short range so i would just move a bit back and that would be it for the combo and i could just you know keep going i do like those parries here though those were good parries uh, i think you do do them too often and that does not give you a lot of opportunity maybe you don't realize that uh, you do them both sides and you give me enough time to recuperate um, Maybe you're not confident like yeah, I blocked that which I understand because I have done that a lot of times with the hold I don't use any other style. So whatever um, I think that is it. Yeah, that is it. So um, Tips the you have a wheel build I think because you do a lot of earthquakes every single match Um what I would say is if you do use them, go after with a light or a medium. Uh, that way you will be able to interrupt me and, not, and I will not be able to start a combo. And I will also not be able to hold it. Um, now, uh, I didn't see your deck afterwards. And even if I did, I don't think I would remember it. Uh, but even though you have a good combo with the drunken crane and the spinning fist it's a good combo in general because you close the distance first and then you do a strong hit um, if 
someone was more experienced than me or even me. I was able to dodge it most of the time and some of them was just standing there trying to cohort it just to see if I can do the timing. Uh, but yeah, just try to have a bit more of a move variety in your deck. Some that will work even if it's not just a drunken grin. Like let's just say you do, um, I don't know, like a back fist to the face and then a sidekick, something like that. Uh, another thrust and another horizontal have it that having that variety there will stop people from parrying it first of all and second of all will stop will make it a bit unpredictable what will he go with now and if it's on the opposite side like if the spinning face is coming from the right but then the um, the sidekick would be coming from the left that it's even better and it's gonna really help I think with catching the other person off guard now uh, I didn't see with me because I don't play low decks but if other people I know a lot of people play a lot of with a lot of moves that um, they duck and I would say you have a few that could work against people that do that but because I'm not I cannot give you any advice on them space void if you play with him I feel like you will get a better understanding what you have to improve on your deck with people that fight low he's a real challenge for people that fight that have uh, that fight mostly up uh, other than that I think it was a pretty damn good fight um, and yeah it was good fun it was good fun uh, anyway I hope you I hope this commentary was better than other things that I've done <laughs> Um, and absorb like just letting the fight go out uh, and I hope you enjoyed it more uh, it's kind of late so my criticism could be a bit off um, yeah that's pretty much it goodbye yeah if you did enjoy please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one goodbye